Deja is heading to UCD to meet Aoife Murphy, a master's student in space science and technology. She's here to learn all about AirSat-1, Ireland's first satellite. Hi, Asia. I'm Aoife. It's Hi, nice to meet you. you. Welcome to UCD. We'll head inside. One of the first things I'd like to show you is this is a model of the XMM Newton Space Telescope. So it's a space observatory from the European Space Agency, and it mainly focuses on X-rays. It was launched around 1999 or 2000. And is UCD involved in a lot of projects with the likes of the European Space Agency? Yes, so there's a, a number of faculty members that work on European Space Agency projects. We also have a space centre here in UCD. And then the biggest thing that they're working on at the moment is Ireland's first satellite, which is AirSat-1. Um, so that's kind of a team of um, students and staff members that'll work on it. And that's going to be the first satellite that Ireland's kind of fully made and it's going to launch hopefully this year as well. So is the satellite here in UCD right now? It is here right now. Um, it's not in this building right now. It's on its way to the engineering building for a couple of more tests. Um, but what I can show you is I can show you a model of the satellite um, that we have here. So this is the clean room here for AirSat-1. So it's not here at the moment, but you can see this kind of bed here is where it would be held when it's been tested. So why do you use a clean room? So for things to go up into space, there's um, a lot of regulations, a lot of rules. It has to be completely clean. There can't be any dust or anything on it. So essentially what this room does is it has a special airflow. It'll just make sure that everything stays as clean as possible, that it doesn't get dirty at all. So it cannot um, touch outside air and it can't be exposed to the normal environment um, or else it will not be allowed to be sent to space. So this is a model here of AirSat-1, which is Ireland's first satellite that's been made here. So it stands for the Educational Irish Research Satellite. The only thing that's missing is the antenna that would be on the bottom. So is this the exact same size as the actual satellite? Yep, so it's the same size. So it's a CubeSat, so it's a very small satellite. Um, this one here is what we call a 1U CubeSat, so it's just one cube. This is a 2U CubeSat, so it's essentially two cubes kind of stacked on top of each other. So how long would a satellite like this stay in space for? So this one's going to stay in space for about five years before it deorbits. Um, and there's a couple of different experiments on board. So we've got the thermal one on top here, um, which is different types of material. And there's also uh, one inside that will be looking at gamma rays. And are there many satellites similar to this going up into space? Yeah, there's like there's hundreds that go up at the moment, so like this won't be the only one going up. Um, and a lot of companies now kind of send up satellites about this size in constellations, so they send up loads of them at a time and they link up around the Earth. Um, a lot of universities um, that are working on satellites will send up small satellites like this. So when will this satellite, AirSat-1, launch? Um, so hopefully this satellite will be launching this year and it'll hopefully be launching from French Guiana in South America. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks so much for having me. This is a great experience. I'm glad, and it was great to meet you. And best of luck. Bye. Bye.